I wrap Zena Blinn and Associates with your morning flash update and we are now on Friday the 11th of October 2019 about 925 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Rocket time to the upside as the market is waiting to see what the deal is between the U.S. and China. It does appear there is a deal. The question, of course, and the devil is always in the details, and we don't know what that is. This market's anticipating, to me, the very best of everything. I'd be a little cautious here. It would not surprise me, I want to go on record of saying, you get the deal and the market decides to pull back from whatever the high of the day is. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for that. Because what I don't think will happen is the removal of the tariffs. I think they'll be suspended. There is a difference between total removal and a difference between suspension. If they're removed, then I think this market rockets even further. So I think that is part of the devil in the detail. Then in Brexit, out of, no, out of left field, it appears that the UK and Ireland got together, they approached the EU, talks are resuming right now. There's just days before this is supposed to get to Parliament, but it's a good sign. So you got the double whammy here. You got Brexit coming, uh, a possible resolution. You got the, certainly the beginning of a resolution in US trade with China. As I said, it's the beginning of something. That's putting pressure on the gold, rightly so. The silver was holding up very well. Silver is one of these funny markets. Does it go with the industrial metal side of it and say, okay, that deal's going to help me? Or does it say I'm the precious metal side of it and I'm coming down? You're also getting platinum down, so the market is looking at something more than that dollar index getting smashed that's the right word to use and you're taking off in the euro as the market is looking at brexit is a good possibility the dollar breaking against it uh at come october 31st mr draghi's out miss lagarde steps in so those are all those parts then we had today another event take place where an iranian tanker two missiles hit it off Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. At first, the Iranians accused Saudi Arabia. They've withdrawn that part of it. But you know that's a powder keg. Then we take a look at what's going on in grains. The first reaction yesterday, bearish to these markets, but weather situation, very serious. I hope you're paying attention to weather. We have a monster storm, snow, freeze coming in from the north and the question is how far down does it go in illinois i know they're talking and remember we are the nation's largest soybean state we're second in corn we are talking hard freezes possibly here soybean market as you can see up cotton getting a heck of a bid why not if everything's going good in the economy in the u.s and in china that makes sense now we come to the university of michigan consumer sentiment this is before this all happened 96 versus September is 93.2. Preliminary October conditions, 113.4 versus 108.5. The public feels good about all this. That's all you can say. Import-export prices. We imported a little more inflation. They were up two tenths. And we exported a little less if you look at it. The petroleum, you can't control that. It's just if the market's going up or down. Ahead of Monday's trade balance, remember, U.S. markets, it's Columbus Day. The electronic markets in the U.S. are open. We'll be here in the office. The pit traded aren't. Uh, and banks, I believe, are closed, so keep your eye on that. But the trade balance, they're forecasting the China exports off 3% from the year earlier month, while imports are falling 5.2% in the September 9th, 2019 versus 2018. I, I left a number off there. Employment in Canada rose a whopping 53,700. Mr. Trudeau comes up for his election within two weeks now. Debate last night wasn't getting a lot of press coverage, but he's got a Me Too movement going on now, too. We'll see if he can pull this out. European Union senior negotiator said the talks have been constructive between the EU and the UK after Ireland. The meeting yesterday between Mr. Johnson, he might be pulling off this miracle. Mexico's president came out today, and he expects that, uh, that the deal's going to be ratified, that House Speaker Pelosi laid out the reason, he laid out the reasons for why everything's in the best interest of both. German economic data, the final September CPI, flat on the month, up 1.2% on the year. 
both just as expected. So what's the day going to be about? The announcement between the U.S. and China. The devil's in the details. Let's hope for the very best. Certainly the stock market roaring on the idea that uh, this is going to happen sooner rather than later, which we'd all love to see. But again, what about the tariffs? Where are they? I mean, if there's any form of a deal, don't expect the October 15th tariffs or the December 15th to go ahead at this point. But suspensions, different than removal. Those are the words I'm going to be looking at. What about you? I woke up this morning, and if you think you don't, number one, question what your trade selections are, or do you decide on days like today not to do anything because you know that you're going to be in the, if you will, buy the rumor, sell the fact, or go with it depending on what the reports say. Very, very difficult. And what you don't want to lose is, is confidence in your trades, okay? But you also want to have a good basis for making them. Futures trading is hard. You know you're going to have losing trades. Everybody does. It's, it's controlling them as they're going on. So what I start you off each morning with is a touch of the fundamentals. I'm already, by 6 a.m., I'm recording. That's 6 a.m. Central Daylight Time. I already know what's going on in most of Asia, most of Europe, and I'm bringing you up as to what we should expect in America before the markets get uh, going by 7.30 a.m. People sleep, and as they wake up, you can see the volume start creeping into the markets. I'll offer, in my morning video only, specific points of entry, exit, stop orders, ideas, where it is. What is the idea? To help you with the confidence of your own trade. And I will cover this whole raft of markets. There'll be a slide bar on the bottom that as you move it, it'll say stock indices, foreign ind uh, currencies. These videos are about 20 minutes longer. So it's not like I just put out a quickie video for you. Now something new is going to happen. I'm going to be tying these with special reports in about a week. And for the subscribers, those reports will be free. For the general public, they're going to get a few free, and then they're being monetized. So another thing that we're putting out for the clients. You'll also see a lexicon on the side of all this. We get monstrous amount of people that want to look at my special video reports because I talk, I talk monthly, daily, weekly. I go into an awful lot of detail, and I want to get that to the point where they're not just available to everyone. I want my, my subscribers to get them. I also promise that I'm going to start webinars again. That is going to happen. I want to tie this all together, hopefully, in the next week. How do you get access to all this? Well, it's simple. Go to our web uh, website under the word research. Go to morning subscriber video. We have a fact sheet there. It explains how it works. You sign up right there. $7.95 for 30 days. Come on. Let's assume you try it. It's not even a tick in gold. It's certainly a qu one quarter of a tick in the S&Ps, a tick in the grains. Give you an idea. What about here? Just click right here. It'll take you right to that page. I'm I. Rapstein. You have a great weekend. I'll see you all Monday. I will be in the office even though it's Columbus Day. Take care.